That move would be better if it didn't have like a warm up period. This one, right? I'm assuming this is what they're talking about. Security system access. Card key confirmed. Activate main system? Yes. Why not? Beep boop beep. Now Mega Man has no hands because one hand is that uh, mini gun. The machine gun. Alright, now I gotta go back up there. You should be able to get to the top of the tower now. Wait, I'm picking up multiple readings. The Reaver bot seems to have been activated everywhere. Be careful, Mega Man. Of course they were. Alright guys, I'm just gonna skip up ahead until I get back up there just because you've already seen me go through this hallway, so no need to see me go through it again. I'll be right back. Alright guys, so as you can see this room has changed a bit. There's like uh trap on the floor that if you fall on it you get electrocuted. Uh, some of the other rooms had like variations of the reaver bots like the frogs there were like uh, red ones now that are a bit stronger. Um, also those like fist things on the wall that we didn't know what they were uh, those turned into like mini gun turrets. Obviously these ones turned into gun turrets as well. Um, there was also um, that thing that was hanging down in that part where you had to jump over those like things that endlessly charged out of that that doorway, uh, those ended up being um, those ended up being like uh, come on, Jesus, fuck this room. Uh, those ended up being that ended up being like an electrical barrier that went back and forth. Yeah, this shit is annoying now. If I get knocked off of here by one of these things, I'm gonna be real fucking pissed off. Man, my range is butt. I need to get some items that, or some equipment that'll boost my attack and range like I had in the last one. Cause range alone is not worth it, like... Yeah, you're gonna see here, these things become like guns. If I can just jump past these guys cause those frogs will get me trapped in there and get me horrifically killed. These guys are annoying. Cause they like charge at you. Damn it. Just got a little bit of my attack back for my special weapon. One of these is definitely a trap, I'm assuming. Because it's rare that you find two boxes in the same room. Nope. I was wrong. I keep being wrong about that. Maybe I should just keep saying it and just keep getting items instead of traps. Ugh, annoying guys. Oh shit, these are the frogs that I find up. The fire on them. Oh shit, oh damn, that wrecked me. I wish you could choose how many of those canteen units to use, because now I have none. Yeah, status effect stuff fucking wrecks you in this game. Just grab the health, don't worry about the money, I already got enough money. Status effects, stuff like that poison and the fire and the electricity. Number one, they last fucking forever. 
And like you saw, that fire does like a shit ton of damage. Is there some other way? Is there something I'm missing here? There we go. Just keep holding it. Like the thing is is that you generally can't move and shoot at the same time. Like Like you can if you're not targeted on anything, but like if you target onto something, uh it's like finicky about it. Trap or real. Real. I thought I saw something above me here, but nope, just vines. Hopefully I don't need any health stuff for the boss here. Anything this way? Nope. Useless corridor. These two drops big money. I like I wish that it worked like a sub tank, uh, where when you had excess energy. See I didn't say it was a trap that time and it was. I have to say it's a trap so that it isn't a trap. Um I wish that it was that when you picked up extra energy it filled up your canteen instead of having to go to the store and buying it. Guys jump up here. Yeah, I'm gonna try to shoot these guys from here real quick. Just in case I fall off of here. Bullshit that the floor doesn't affect them. I'm closer so I can shoot you. confident in how fast my character moves in this game. Yeah. See? That's what I mean. When you get stuck in this electric city shit that slows you down for an obs Look at how long- I'm just gonna run in circles here. Look at how obscenely long this electricity lasts for. Is there any reason for this to last this long? Like... The obvious answer is no. Oh, you can see my cat back there. Taking a little snooze. Fortunately, that other one hasn't gotten up to try to shoot me while I'm doing this because I'd be completely defenseless. There it goes. Yeah, like I said, it's a little finicky sometimes. I wonder if the times where I'm like trying to um, strafe and, and shoot and it's not working, I wonder if that's uh, because of like hitting the joystick just slightly too high um, so it's registering it as up instead of as... Uh, instead of as um, left and right. Okay, there we go. Finally got a helmet. Only took almost four hours into this game. Although, to be fair, a lot of that time was from that fucking quiz. I want to kill this guy. Alright, what else we got here? That guy. And let's open this one. This one also a trap. Nope. 
because I asked if it was a trap for us to mine. Alright, let's see here. Monkey! Dr. Wiley. Lift and energy. Let's save. That means there's a boss fight coming up. How does this monkey get through these mines so fast? Or these ruins so fast? Like, how does he get past the reaver bots and shit? He doesn't even have weapons. Yeah, my canteen is empty. So, hopefully I don't need it. Mega Man, are you ready? You betcha. The key we're looking for is probably in this room. Be careful, Mega Man. I'm assuming it's that. Womp. Yep. Hey man, what kept you so long? If you're looking for the key, I've got it right here. Why don't you show me it? <laughs> Just messing with you. I did get the key, but the Master Reaver bot ate it. I asked him real nice like if he'd give it back to me, but he's not the friendly type, you know what I mean? You can have the key if you can get it back from him. I mean, there's three more keys. Claymore will probably figure out a way to get them, so it's no skin off my nose. This guy's very be going. nonchalant See about ya. the one job he has in this game. Don't get caught in that, but you did. Eh. Oh, this is a bad place to be. Well, I'm gonna get corn hold down here. Come on. Get out of there. Well, that as long as I can hit him. If I can hit him, then it doesn't really matter. Exciting in game videos when you're in a fight where you move so slowly. And you can only hit the boss like once every like 35 seconds. So exciting! It's a thrill a minute for you guys, our fans of the Blue Wizard Project. <sighs> this is not a fun fight. Oh, he can heal himself. That's garbage. Great, let's make this super slow fight even slower. Oh shit, no! Get there. Oh shit. Up up there. It's almost better to have the slow on you because it makes it easier. God damn it. It makes it easier to stay on this platform. Like onto it. He's just gonna keep healing himself. Uh, 
fight all over again. Ugh. Tedious. Damn it. Oh shit. Shit! There. Damn it. Shit, 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 shit. Damn it, I'm dead. Oh, I have to do that whole fucking fight over again. God damn it. Alright, guys, be right back. I'm screwed up now, but I think. Sorry I'm not talking so much, guys, but I've been in this fight for literally the last, like, half hour. This fight is super annoying. I'll explain it in a second. Fucking finally, Jesus. Sorry I wasn't talking so much in that fight, guys, but seriously, like, I'm gonna push, put the first one and the last one in there, but, like, I had to fight that guy, like, 20 times, and I'll show you why in just a second here. You got the first key. It's probably gonna go into a dialogue part. You did it, Mega Man! Yeah, give me a second. So that's one of the keys to the mother load. One down, three to go. We've got a long ways to go, but I know we can do it. So, this is why that fight is bullshit. Uh, actually, okay, yeah. This is why that fight's bullshit. Let me just take a moment and tell you. Number one, you can't go on the outside ring because there's a fucking spike thing that if it hits you, fucking launches you. You can't go in the middle because there's these little tadpole guys that don't do a lot of damage, but there's like six of them. They're really hard to kill. I don't even know if you can kill them. And they just completely rapid fire hit you. So they just juggle you into the wall and then you pray to God that they knock you up on top of the wall and that you don't get hit by the spike thing back down into them. Then there's the frog guy that wouldn't be too bad except that he can only be hit at certain times, which is fine. That's a normal boss thing to do but that window is really short the only way to trigger it is to stand in front of him and if you're not far enough over to the side then he hits you three times with his tongue and that can knock you down in the tadpoles that i mentioned before which leads you back to the spikes and then back up to him he can also heal himself by eating a dragonfly thing that's flying around him which is fine because you can shoot the dragonfly and the dragonfly drops health but the problem is is that the game automatically targets you onto the boss if you switch onto the dragonfly, if it's anywhere remotely near the boss, the bullets will hit the boss's hitbox and not connect with the dragonfly, which makes it so that you can't kill the dragonfly. Then, if you do kill the dragonfly and the health falls down, it falls into the tadpoles that I mentioned before. So, going for the health is a death trap. Uh, the worst part of it is because of the way the controls are, maybe this is easier if you have the default controls, which I don't because they're dumb for most gameplay, but like you hit the target onto him. So my target on my Xbox controller, because again, I'm playing this on an emulator, even though I do own the physical copy of this game, or I think I own the digital copy of it on my PlayStation. Uh, I have to hold the X button to target. I have to hold the R2 button to fire my gun. Uh, strafe is the right stick and moving forward and backwards is the left stick. So I can't let go of the fire button if I want, and the target button if I want to hit him. I Meaning I can't strafe at the same time. So I have to use my my right, or sorry, my left hand on the right joystick to strafe back and forth. And then when I need to course correct, I need to go back over to the left stick, course correct, and continue circle strafing. It was just fucking frustrating as hell, guys. Like seriously, that guy was super annoying. 